Welcome to Moments in Time with your host, Marilyn Foster, sharing historic moments in African American history. Did you know that a painter and sculptor defied negative stereotypes about African Americans? Today's Moment in Time will feature painter and sculptor Richmond Barth. Richmond Barth was a painter and sculptor during New York's Harlem Renaissance. Barth was born January 28, 1901, in St. Bay, Louis, Mississippi. From childhood, Barth loved drawing and painting with watercolors. By the age of 12, his talents had developed enough to exhibit his art at the Mississippi County Fair. In 1915, Barth moved to New Orleans, where he applied to various art schools, but was denied admission because he was African American. He moved to Chicago in 1924 and enrolled in the Chicago Art Institute to study painting. However, his interest turned to sculpting. In February 1929, Barth graduated from the Chicago Art Institute and moved to New York. Barth's decision to move to New York proved to be productive, prosperous, and prestigious. Barth held his first solo exhibition, gaining widespread recognition in New York. In 1940 and 1941, he was nominated for the Guggenheim Fellowship, which he accepted. Barth created an 8 foot by 80 foot frise, Exodus and Dance, completed in 1939 for the Harlem River Houses. His work was later named Green Pastures, The Walls of Jericho, and it was installed at the Kingsborough Houses in 1941. Barth was quoted as saying, All my life I have been interested in trying to capture the spiritual quality I see and feel in people, and I feel that the human figure as God has made it is the best means of expressing this spirit in man. Today, we celebrate Richmond Barth, whose gift brought grace, balance, beauty, and rhythm, making him one of the most prolific artists of the Harlem Renaissance and in the world. Barth died March 5, 1989 in Pasadena, California. Join me again tomorrow as we celebrate another remarkable African-American on Moments in Time.